Hollywood stables, and we're going riding tonight, Ronda style, next on USA, up all night. Nice horsey. <laughs> at the Sunset Ranch Hollywood Stables, and we went riding off into the sunset, and we rode right past it. This is my horse, Cheyenne, who's also a natural blonde, just like Rhonda. Yeah, right. Well, as if all this isn't enough, tonight's film, we offer some international fare, sort of a Rhonda International Film Fest night. Our first film is Return of the Master Killer. It takes place in Jewish Asia, the Garment District, to be exact. Now, you might say that we need this movie like a hole in the head. Well, we have that, too. And if you like a bunch of guys hitting one another and degrading women... What's wrong? They're only women. <laughs> so hold on to your wontons, because this one's for you. Now, our second film takes place in the good old U.S. of A., and its cast has names that Rhonda can actually pronounce, like Deborah Shelton, and Avery Schreiber. Woo! It's a story of a nerd's rise to hunktum. Hunk. Hunktum. It's the opposite of babedom. And it's babedom and hunktum galore in hunk. But first, let's get started with, with the return of the master killer on USA. Up! All night. Look, Cheyenne, look at the camera and say, up! All night. Good horsey. Good horsey. Hmm, we've got some serious teeth going here in Return of the Master Killer. Yeah, we certainly do. It looks like he could eat corn through a tennis racket. Anyway, I'm supposed to meet a couple of friends here along the trail. Billy Elmer, ooh, he's a dude, and my friend Ted, just Ted. In the meantime, you guys check out these commercials on USA Up all night, and Rhonda will keep moseying on along with Cheyenne. Smile, Cheyenne. up all night and I found my friend Jess it's Bill and Ted and Rhonda's most excellent adventure howdy Rhonda Bill where's your horse well I had a little accident in the early 80s with my horse old hemorrhoid I don't know if you heard of him no yep. <laughs> yeah he got rear-ended in the Memorial Day parade um, yeah you should have seen the horse yep. <laughs> I shouldn't be on horses I, I the only thing that me and the old Wes have in common, I might have been like Billy Todd. Yeah. Yeah. Frontier hairstylist. <laughs> I'm here to do your country quaffs. <laughs> you Indians, out of the way. No savage dudes here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you know what I think right now? And you're going to check my hair out soon, too, oh, Billy you Todd. Bet. But right now, we have to go back to our movie, because you know what's happening? Labor negotiations are really heating up. Yeah, the workers at the dime mill, well, they face a cut in their wages. Oh. Well, in, yep. re in return <laughs> for pool privileges. <laughs> ah! It's return of the master killer on USA, up all night. Right, <laughs> Bill and Ted? Yep. Whoa, that Sholin guy is pretty cool as well as color coordinated. Rhonda likes that. Well, we'll be back right after these messages with more USA Up All Night and Bill and Ted and the horsies. I go out walking after midnight out in the moonlight just like we used to do. Ooh, owie, I got an owie. My tuffet hurts from the horsies. Well, Bill and Ted are putting the horsies away, but I do have something soft to sit on. Rhonda comes prepared. Yes! And it matches my outfit. 
Ah, yes. Now, all I need is the campfire. Voila! It's a Hollywood campfire. Fleeg lights the whole thing. Well, anyway, in the next segment, a return of the master killer, our priest discovers that his Yule Brenner vibe isn't enough. I'm just a fake. How will he solve his problem? Will he, A, attempt to find the answer in Dianetics, B, let his hair grow, or C, get real, buy a handgun, and take care of business? Let's go back to the movie and find out. Bill! Ted! It's lonely out here. Ooh, our priest is going to temple to learn kung fu. Rhonda's confused. But then what else is new? Wow, I'll just warm myself here. What? Wait, where's the... Bill? Ted? Hi! Hi, Hi guys. So, it's really warm and toasty here. So, were you Very putting smoky. away... Very smoky. Very smoky. Were you putting away the horses? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah we're putting, putting them away. away. The <laughs> yeah. yeah, you could say that. You could say that a little bit. We should have a weenie roast. <laughs> oh, yeah, or some marshmallows or something. And the weenie roast would be BYO. <laughs> Well, your nighttime nibble will be right back after these very important messages. Play that thing, mate. Oh, okay, check this out. Freebird. at the Sunset Ranch Hollywood Stables with Ted and Bill, Bill and Ted. And wait, I have a really scary story for you. Once I was out walking in the woods, just like this, dressed just like this. How fashionable. Except I was caught. I had no mouse for my hair. It was terrible. Don't they know what? What that can do to a woman in the woods? You don't know what it was like. I was all alone. I was, everybody that came by, I asked if they had hairspray, if they if they had a teasing comb. I even, even gel? Nothing. What would you have done, Billy Todd? I would have ran through the woods rubbing my head on saplings, hoping for something that could give you some control. I knew that you could help me with this. You're the only frontier hairdresser in the entire world. Next up, our priest learns to walk this way. Return of the Master Killer on USA, up all night. Ooh, what waits at gate 36? Very few know and even fewer care. All right, Ted, you told me that you had a really scary story about the woods. Uh-huh, check it out, right? I go to this concert, right? Yeah. But I take a wrong left, man, yeah. and I'm out in the desert. Ooh. And I'm cruising and cruising, and I just stop. Something says, stop, stop here, man, and I get out. I look behind this bush. Yeah. And there's like yeah. hair care products. I'm talking. I'm talking moose. Right out there in the open. I'm wow. talking moose. Moose is oh, not I'm even in season. I'm talking styling gel. Well, well, I'm talking hairspray. Was there any makeup? Makeup. There was everything. I'm out in the desert. I've got all this stuff. I start dressing oh. up and I start dancing. Ooh, it's Rhonda. You're a late night I'm lamb metal. chop I'm at the metal. Sunset <laughs> Ranch, Hollywood stables, <laughs> and I'll be right back. I love this story. Oh, Ted, I love this story. It's scary. Life brings you hairstylists of the old west. You'll go way back with us, men you didn't know existed back there. You'll hear Mr. Todd Jackson, a hairstylist so mean he shot a man just for messing up a spit curl. <gasps> that won't happen here, will it? This is USA up all night and only good things happen. Is my hair okay? Yeah, but your chaps are melting from this fire. <laughs> get <know>. back. <laughs> Let's get back to Return of the Master Killer in USA up all night, can you say? his hair washed. I wonder if he'll get it blow-dried in the next segment. 
hope now, so. I know that you would like would think about that, Billy Todd. Now I know you have to go crash like another place. You're going to a rodeo, but I thank you for dropping by. No, no, no. we're going to rodeo. We're getting out of here. We have to shop. It's cold here and dark. We need cappuccino. We need fashions. We need lights. We need my whip. Hey, Where is it? Hey, you said we were going to a rodeo with Al Pacino. You didn't tell me of anything. <laughs> I said rodeo and have cappuccino. But Al Pacino will be there. Come on, let's go. Let's go well, it's Hollywood, soon. and it's Rhonda, and it's Ted. I'm going the opposite direction. <laughs> Get him in. Bye, I'm Ted. Out of here. Wow. You stay with Rhonda. We'll be back for some more exciting campfire stuff alone in the dark. Ooh, it's time to go back to the movie. And as Rhonda promised, this segment contains the hair blow drying scene. Your girly girl keeps all of her promises on USA up all night. White horsey? Yes, you love Rhonda too, don't you? <laughs> His ears are twitching. <laughs> That's a good sign. Very good. You're so sweet. Now, tell me about this grass diet you're on. Is it really good? High in fiber. <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> You know, this is all too exciting. Our hero has become a master roofer. This movie is taking us through so many changes. I'll be right back. I have to get back to my horsey friend. He's telling me a lot of diet tips. So now, now tell me, what do you think about this whole thing? Do you like lettuce? Uh, do you like carrots? Return of the Master Killer. Our kung fu comedy is really getting interesting. Our hero is now doing Lou Costello's shtick. Hey, Abbott. Let's go back to the film and find out who's on first. Ooh, it's time for Rhonda to issue a fashion citation. Our hero has been away at Temple for over a year, and when he returns to his village, he finds everyone wearing the same clothing. <gasps> shame, shame, not Rhonda Cool. Rhonda will be right back with Cool. You wait and see. When you thought that things couldn't get any better, we're ready for the conclusion, a return of the master killer. Let's get right to it on USA. Up! All night. And the moral of the story is, don't mess with the monk unless you know roofing. See? Even the horsey knows. Well, that concludes Return of the Master Killers on USA Up All Night. But we roll on with something entirely different. Hunk. It's a story of a nerd's transformation to hunk him. Get my hands on a real man. In addition to that, it has babe dumb. <sighs> the opposite of hunk dumb. Starring Deborah Shelton and Avery Schreiber. Hunk is another one of those message films. Don't let your mouth write checks that your body can't pay for. Mm. That's deep. Right, horsies? Look at that face. Just look at that beautiful face of yours. Mm. And a sizzle kiss to you. <laughs> I don't know. Something tells me that Bradley is having a bad hair movie. Don't worry, Brad. Things could only get better. After all, you could be having a bad hair hat movie. Ah, uh, give me a break. Okay, just cool your jets. We're watching Hunk on USA Up oh, all night. Hunk and the horse. You like me, don't you? You really like me.
Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me at Rhonda, USA, up all night. P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209. 5719. Hi, it's Rhonda. I'm at the Sunset Ranch Hollywood Stables here in Hollywood, and I'm bonding with the horses. They like my chats. The movie is hung. The show is USA up all night. Isn't America great? You are so cute. You are so handsome. Can you stay USA up all night? Oh, sure you can. Anyway, do you realize how many unanswered questions appeared during that last segment? Look. You possessed my word processor that night? Now what? Are you happy you rented this fabulous house? Who writes your material, David Letterman? Suppose you gave an open house and nobody came. Perhaps you'll find the answers during these commercial breaks. Oh, but don't think too hard. We'll be back. Gilbert's doing tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Easy wheels, free ride, and house to the second story. Ooh, Gilbert, I smell ratings. I think that's ratings I smell. Anyway, check out Gilbert. Same time, same place, tomorrow night. USA, up, all night. is about ready to meet the big guy. Don't worry, Hunkster. I've met him and he's nothing. has gone berserk for Hunk Golden. Well, we'll just have to check more of Hunk out on USA Up all night. So, Hunk and his babe meet the devil at midnight. Well, don't we all? It's Rhonda on USA. Up! All night. Mmm! Mmm! This hay is good. Mm. That's what you say when you hit the hay. <laughs> and now, the devilish conclusion of Hunk on USA Up All Night. And that's it for Hunk on USA Up All Night. I'd like to thank the Sunset Ranch, Hollywood Stables, hey, and my two dude friends, Ted and Bill. Oh, next week we're going to have two more awesome films for you. But in the meantime, coming up is Babes Ahoy. Ooh, but before we roll it, Rhonda has to make that one last ride to the main stable. Now, you know my tuffet really hurts because Cheyenne gave me quite a ride up the trail, but I'm going to do it for you. Come on, tuffet. We can make the ride. 
Oh, and remember, if it's L.A., it's Rhonda up all night. Good night, everyone.